Hey Taurus, what's happening? What's cracking like and what's popping? It's your boy from Cancer Moon's Tarot coming at you guys with your, your your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Going at you guys with your August 2019 love tarot reading, all right? Hopefully, guys, are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind, this reading is general. If it resonates, that's dope. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? Let's take a look and see what's happening, what's cracking like and what's popping for my bull gang sun moon rising and venus if you guys would like you can follow me on instagram and twitter which is all linked down below and you guys can also feel free to check out my sister and her boyfriend's youtube channel which is the first link in the description if you want to take a look at my family's life they upload every friday okay let's take a look and see what's happening we got a bit of a new spread we're starting off with the romance angel oracle deck taking a look at what you're looking for in regards to your love life then we'll dabble into the normal tarot the normal schnormal okay and then at the end we have the rebel tarot deck where we got some rebel messages they don't need to correlate to your love life they can correlate to some personal messages and sometimes they're harsh but sometimes they're truthful take it as a form of entertainment if it doesn't resonate okay and if anybody's easy, easily triggered or offended don't look at the rebel tarot messages okay let's take a look and see what's happening for my bull gang here taurus sun moon rising venus throughout the month of august 2019 what is going on and what is taurus looking for in regards to their love lives taurus sun moon rising venus throughout august 2019 taurus sun moon rising and venus signs throughout august 2000 and 19. Let's take a look and see what's happening, what's crack lacking and what's popping. Taurus, you got wedding. This situation involves wedding. Oh shit, some of y'all get married. Hello. Maybe you're going to a wedding. You may possibly meet somebody at a wedding. If so, that's pretty awesome, okay? There may be somebody here getting cold feet in regards to a wedding. So if so, that's definitely not a beautiful time. Um, I feel right now very strongly, Taurus, that there's a lot on your mind that you need to free yourself from is what I'm seeing overall. That's kind of the main focus, okay? I never really use this deck because it has so many things in it that just are so general, but I'm gonna go off my intuition here and explain what I'm seeing, okay? Um, in regards to the cards I pulled, I pulled keep an open mind, free yourself, playfulness, you deserve love, let your friends help you, and wedding. Nonetheless, you may be attending a wedding, or for some, you may be getting married, if so, congratulations if that resonates to you. Now, based off what I'm seeing here, I think many of you guys right now are doing your best to keep yourself afloat and you're focusing on trying to keep yourself afloat and stay in a positive place of vibration i feel really strongly right now that you want life to get easier and only easier but we all know that it doesn't work that way life is not always the easiest okay life throws curveballs life throws difficulty life throws you the craziest shit of all time but it's all for your strength and endurance to become not only a better person but to create a better reality for yourself so every time we go through something hard it's to teach us a lesson and a lesson to be better and a lesson to be great i'm seeing right now with free yourself and keep an open mind you gotta let go of the things that are blocking you. And I feel strongly that some of these things that are blocking you is yourself, your mind thought, you know, your minds, your thoughts, your thought process, the way you're looking at shit, your perception. Your perception throughout the month of August may be something that is kind of in the negative or kind of in a bad place. And you gotta keep an open mind on how you're looking about things and how you're looking at shit. I'm also seeing, you know, you deserve love and let your friends help you, you know? You deserve to understand that you are loved and you deserve to love yourself. You deserve to, you know, look at yourself in a positive and beautiful light. And if you're ever going through any problems, whether it's financial problems, whether it's love problems, whether it's, you know, problems for your own well-being. There are people that are, you know, that can be used as outlets that you can talk to, okay? And I think that in the month of August, you got to take it with a grain of salt, you know? You got to have this playful energy, right? With this playfulness card. Because July, June, crazy months. Those last two months were nuts. We had crazy energies, a lot of influences, a lot of planetary influences, okay? That tore up a lot of stuff. Cancer season tore up a lot of, um, energy in regards to the way we look at our past and what we need to heal from and what we need to move forward from and that residue may still be carrying with you throughout the month of august okay but i think you got to take august with a grain of salt look at things in a much more playful way look at life as an opportunity um and take opportunities and risks in life to enjoy it in regards to your love life right now, many of you guys are freeing yourself from a connection that no longer resonates to you. You're keeping an open mind of, you know, new soulmates and you're keeping an open eye uh, in regards to the blessings that are manifesting in your life. For some Tauruses, you know, you may have friends that have, you know, people that are single that you can date. Maybe go talk to somebody through a friend. All right. Also understand too that you're not unlovable. You're not unworthy as well. You are worthy of love. You are deserving of love. Okay. But you got to look at love in a new light. Don't be too serious about it. And especially with your life as well, look at it in a new light. Don't take life too seriously right now. Don't overstress. Don't over worry. Simply be, simply breathe, simply enjoy. Okay? Let's keep it popping. Let's move on into your tarot and take a look at what messages we got for the bull gang. Okay? All right. So what's going on for my Tauruses? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, throughout August 2019. What messages do we have coming through for the Taurus, please? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout August 2019. 
Tour Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs throughout August 2019. What messages do we have coming through for my bull game, please? Tour Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs throughout August 2019. Last shuffle. Let's nope, one more shuffle. Let's take a look and see what's crack lack between you and whomever you're dealing with, alright? Alright. Taurus, energy between you and another person. You got a four swords. Can be dealing with a for some reason, I, I'm getting a water energy as well, but you can be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? We have the Chariot card, we have the Five of Swords, and then we have the Two of Pentacles, okay? So there's definitely something here you're leaving behind as you're progressing forward. Um, I feel strongly that this is very hard for you to break. Okay, I don't think this is about love right now. Um, the love messages, you can take it how it resonates with the Oracle cards because there was a little bit of a segment about love. But Taurus, this is really a lot about you. Okay, and I'm seeing that it's very difficult to go back and forth with the way that you see things because with the Chariot card and the Five of Swords, you're trying to leave behind an old thought process that doesn't resonate with you. I feel like you were kind of getting in the way of yourself for a long time and moving forward in the month of August, you're not trying to do that. Okay, you're no longer trying to block your blessings. You're no longer trying to block the abundance that's trying to come in for you with negative and cloudy thoughts but at the same time two of pentacles is here as the outcome and it goes hand in hand i feel like you keep flip-flopping between positive and negative you're finding it really hard to stay in a stable place and to say you know in a place of positivity and love i do see with the four swords meditating contemplating you're analyzing your life and analyzing how to make your life much better but at the same time when these negative thoughts creep in you may feel defeated it's hard not to give in right now, I feel, to all the things that you're thinking about and how you're holding yourself back. So you're battling yourself right now, I feel, with a chariot. From moving on and keeping a cool, calm, and collected place and a pace, okay? And you're also battling the other side of, you know, these thoughts creeping in on you and dragging you down. Let's take a look. What is worrying Taurus? What is heavy on the mind during August 2019, please? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is heavy on the mind for Taurus? Got a moon card, definitely a lot of emotions, a queen of cups, a seven of cups, a queen of wands, and a seven of wands, okay? So what's on the mind is how many of you guys may feel like you are restricted from whatever it is that you want to do. For some, there can be a partner that you really have a lot of love for that maybe you're not with, and that can be on your mind as well because you're restricted by that person. So for some, there may be somebody you really love and enjoy, but you're recognizing you can't have. I'm seeing right now the Seven of Cups. I think there's a lot of confusion that's kind of manifesting in your life, it feels. Um, and it feels that for some, you're confused on where you're meant to go, where your path is coming to next. That's what I feel very strongly is kind of going on. It's like, I don't know where I'm going. And I don't know why, but listen to your heart before it tells you goodbye. Hello, that's a great song, okay? But that's also a great message. I don't know where I'm going and I don't know why, but listen to your heart before it tells you goodbye. You have to take some deep time and take a deep meditative month and a deep breath, Taurus. One, two, three, breathe in. Hold it for three seconds. Breathe out, okay? Right now, I think you gotta go deep within yourself, go deep within your heart and figure out what it is that's going on with you because I feel like you're in a slump. Okay, some of you may feel confused on where you're supposed to go next in life, whether it's in love, whether it's in career and finance, you're feeling confused. I think that with this Queen of Wands, you're trying to pop out here, Taurus, you know, you're trying to unleash the beast within you because you are a bull, okay, and you're trying to be back in the limelight, be in the spotlight, you are trying to uh, prove to yourself that you're worthy, but at the same time, though, you get swept in this, Queen of Cups and the Moon card. You're getting swept in your feelings, you're getting swept in your emotions, and I feel like these are the emotions or the negative thoughts that are telling you you're not worth it enough, you're not worthy of what you desire. So it's a real big bipolar energy I'm feeling here. Not saying you're bipolar, guys, but I keep getting this energy of motivation, then lack of motivation, happiness, and then sadness, okay? Worth it, then unworthy. With whatever problems you're facing in your life, it feels like one time, if you get one step forward, you feel like you're at a thousand steps back. You feel like the universe keeps knocking you down, but the universe isn't this big bully. Sometimes the biggest bully can be yourself, and that's a really bad or hard pill to swallow. Let's take a look at what we can do moving forward to make your life much more improved, okay? What can Taurus do to move forward here? Five of Cups, you gotta feel what you're going through first. Instead of trying to dismiss your own feelings, feel what it is you're going through first. Recognize that you may be at a low point in your life, and then with that Four of Swords, look at how you're gonna move forward, and that's what we're taking a look at right now, okay? So how is Taurus gonna move forward to gain a better perspective on how to live a better life, okay? Boom, what do we got? What is this? 
okay? You got a king of cups, see? Change the queen into the king. Knight of wands, knight of cups. Nine of wands reversed. Got a judgment card, and then you got a queen of pentacles. Beautiful, 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 okay? So first things first, the king of cups. It's going from the queen to the king, okay? Tap, you know, tap into your masculine energy. Even if you're a woman, it doesn't matter. Men and women have feminine and masculine energy. Tap into your masculine energy of maturity, of emotion, of the way you handle yourself, okay? Start handling yourself in a better light. Understand that you are under control, you have control, and you are able to get through whatever it is that you're going through. You have strength, okay? Nine of Wands reversed. I'm pretty sure we just had the card that said, let your friends help you, right? That's what we had here. Let your friends help you, okay? Be vulnerable with people, okay? You're allowed to have your breakdowns, Taurus. Talk to whoever you gotta talk to, whether it's friends, family members, a fucking therapist, who cares, right? Shit, people like are so afraid of therapy. Why are you afraid? You know, that shit's confidential. That's your business, no one else's, okay? Talk to people. Explain how you're feeling emotionally to others. Don't keep it all bottled in because you know when a bull keeps it all bottled in and then they blow up, it's never a great look. Okay, as I was preaching about earlier, we got a Knight of Wands. Take life in a, in a, in a much more lighthearted way this month, okay? Don't look at things too seriously because if you look at things too seriously or take things too seriously during this month, you're gonna start to stress and you're gonna stress away. All right, Taurus? Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment card, pace yourself this month, okay? Give yourself chances to, you know, complete the goals that you want, to get to the mindset that you want, all right? You know, transformations don't happen overnight. You can't expect them to happen overnight. Little by little, keep moving your mindset into a more positive one. Pace yourself, okay? Like I said, one of the easiest ways to do that is by taking life less seriously. The more you make life serious, the more serious your life becomes. And if you keep getting into that energy, the more stressed you'll become as well because you are gonna set expectations for yourself that you don't even feel you can complete. Only set expectations that you believe you can complete, okay? But the sky is the limit. You can you can complete and do whatever expectation you want, Taurus, because the sky is the limit. And I don't care if you don't believe in yourself. I believe in you. I believe in you. Okay? So in regards to how to move forward, Taurus, look at things much more lightheartedly. Okay? Pace yourself. Give yourself chances and opportunities. Okay? Talk to people. Be vulnerable with whatever it is you're going through. You know, sometimes you may feel like you defeat your own self, but guess what? The real winner is you coming on top, okay? Your negative thoughts, your negative experiences, your past, whatever it is that holds you back, it doesn't have the power like you do. And I'm not talking about your conscious mind. I'm talking about the real you, your higher self, okay? You're going to pull yourself out of this hole, whatever hole you've been going through. Okay? I know it's not super accurate, it's pretty general right now, but I just feel very strongly that you guys got to lift yourself out of a deep place, okay? In regards to where energies are aligning, Taurus, let's take a look here. Where are things going for Taurus throughout August 2019? Beautiful, 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 okay? Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Now, before Taurus goes, how is this beautiful? It's beautiful because here's this, okay? You're done being in the state of vibration you're in because you're burnt out. Okay, you're recognizing right now that it is time for you to actually rise above this negative energy and look at things in a much more beautiful light. It's time to say, you know what? I'm at rock bottom. You can't get any more, you can't go any more down from this. So it's time to keep going up. It's time to look at the light. All right, and as you're looking at this light that is shining in so brightly, you're moving to the 10 of pentacles where not only are you abundant in the sense of your mentality not only are you having a good mentality you're looking at things in a much more beautiful way and your mental health is improving significantly now five of pentacles and the ten of wands if some of you guys are having money problems you're learning to detach from that because the more you focus on the lack of what you have the more lack you create right so if you keep focusing on the lack of money that you have the more you're going to attract a lack of money right and it's the same thing with if you feel alone and you focus on how alone you feel, the more loneliness you feel. So you're learning to stop attracting on the lack of what you have in your life and starting to attract and focus your energy on the abundance that is yet to come. I love it. I love it. As for the overall outcome for my bull gang during the month of August. <laughs> yes, baby. Oh, I love it. I didn't even have to shuffle that hard. Oh, baby. All right. You got a five of wands. You got a nine of swords. You got a hermit card. Okay, here's your transformation. You're getting away from all this. 
you're getting away from the stress. You're getting away from the worries, anxieties, and fears. And you're going hermit mode on them because you know what? This energy doesn't need to control you. This energy doesn't need to be in your surface. This energy doesn't need to govern your life. And moving forward from this energy, there's something that fell on the floor. I don't know if it was this card. No, it's just the Nine of Cups. But moving forward from this energy as to that outcome, Six of Wands and the High Priestess. You're following your inner light and you're deciding, I'm moving on from this shit. Because I know that I was meant for greatness. I know I was born for greatness. I know I was meant for something better. And I know that my, my thoughts can lie to me, but I know that my true self wants me to be prosperous. And you will follow through with that okay during this month you are victorious pisces energy here can be Taurusian energy for you guys high priestess follow your inner path follow your inner light follow that one thought that one positive thought that may be quiet in your brain that says maybe i should change the way i see things and maybe i should just have hope again i love it for you bull gang i love it okay now this part of your reading is over we're going to take a look at your rebel messages and see what you got coming up for you all right like i said they can be used as a form of entertainment if they don't resonate but sometimes they resonate and if they do they are harsh okay what rebel messages do we have for my bull gang here please taurus sun moon rising venus throughout august 2019 what messages do we have for my bull gang please hello okay they broke your heart fuck them point blank period okay if somebody broke your heart fuck them let that shit go leave it be we got stop talking shut your mouth and listen Sometimes we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, but we never listen to what it is that our higher selves or our angels or our guides or the universe is really trying to say to you, okay? So be mindful of your surroundings. Be mindful of the messages, signs, and symbols that will be manifesting around you guys in the month of August. Give me one more card just for Mount Bull Gang, one more rebel message that they need to hear, okay? There we go. I like it, okay? This says, it's dark. <laughs> it says, it's, <laughs> it says, it is dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass, pronto, okay, Taurus? And this one we got over here as well, I really love for you guys. You are the best thing to ever happen to you, okay? Go easy on your ass and buy yourself a damn drink. That applies to the reading, okay? But I like it, Taurus. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out your ass, all right? I love you, baby. Good vibes are coming this August. Transformations are coming this August. The universe takes time. Patience is a virtue. But keep your energy focused on what it is you desire not on the lack that you have, right? If you focus on lack, you obtain lack. If you focus on abundance, whether you have it currently or not, currently or not, you attract abundance, all right? I love my bull gang. Take care, have a great one, and I'll catch you guys later, all right? Peace.